Hey guys, this is Evan here again with you today, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Leo Electronic Cigarette by Bogue Tech. Uh, I did receive this product free of charge for the purpose of conducting a review, but my opinion will remain honest and accurate as always. So I received this from whitestagvapor.com. Um, and they wanted me to stress that you have to be 18 years of age or older to buy any electronic cigarette from any company anywhere. So, um, let's get on with the review. I'll show you guys the model, uh, you know, the packaging, everything of that sort. So, let's get on. So, here we have the box. It says Leo, has the Leo symbol, the zodiac sign, uh, and it has a lion drawn on it. So, um, for here, it has a warning. Uh, you know, the Leo is intended for use by persons of legal smoking age. Um, okay, so let's take a look inside. The box opens by pushing on either side and the other end slides out like this. Now let's look at that. This is a very nice... Box. Okay, as you guys can see, there's a little pull tab here where this part gets taken out. You just pull that and you take this part out and that reveals a bottom compartment where you are given thank you note with an instructions manual kind of look at that it's a very nice instructions manual I'm obviously not going to go through it right now but if you guys get one then you can look through it yourselves so under that you have a five pack of Leo cartridges 16 milligram nicotine strength and let's see what flavor this is USA mix uh, I personally like the flavor USA mix. I know a lot of people uh, that don't like it, but uh, I'm completely fine with it. Another thing that's given here is the charging cable. Now, as far as I'm concerned, this is a normal mini USB charging cable. It's USB to mini USB. Let's try to get that out somehow. Uh, ooh, this is actually kind of difficult to get out. Everything's stacked up in there. There we go. And now uh, this part. There we go. Okay, so you have the USB. You have the USB to mini USB. Now, this cable is very flimsy. I wouldn't recommend using this for a prolonged amount of time. Uh, I'm sure that you guys have, you know, multiple mini USB cables, just that connection, lying around your house for either your phone or PDA or some other device that have a better cable than this. However, this cable is a pass-through cable. Uh, the Leo uh, from White Stag Vapor that I got is a PT-capable device. Uh, and, but that, that works as a pass-through with any mini USB cable, not just these. Um, so yeah, that's just about all about the box. Uh, so let's get on with the review. So as you can see, both of the ends are flat. There are versions with a uh, you know crystal end cap. This part screws off to reveal a mini USB uh, a mini USB charging slot. This is a pass-through, but not all Leos are pass-throughs. So, this is very convenient because you can just kind of have it laying like that. Okay, so let's talk about the button for a second. This button here lights up blue. Well, it kind of looks like it's green on the camera, but it is actually blue. Uh, and you can see it has, you know, Leo written there. Now this button, it's very nice. It's very rubbery. It has a good you know, feel to it, uh, but it will go off in your pocket if you if it presses against something in your pocket. But other than that, it's a very nice button. I like it a lot. So let's open this up. This is a cap, and has a gold-colored atomizer here. Again, it has the zodiac sign Leo right there. It says Leo, and the atomizer here. You could see the bridge. It's a very well-working atomizer. I've had a Leo before but I have not used this one yet so uh, right now I mean this looks this looks gorgeous I, I absolutely love the look that the Leo has and it's very stylish it just looks like a you know a very stylish pen uh, so yeah I mean that's just about all for the design of it let's go on to the vapor production throat hit and flavor okay. so here we have the Leo uh, can't really see that, but whatever. Okay, so here we have the Leo. 
Let's take the cap off. I just put two drops of root beer liquid from Mad Vapes in here. So let's see how this pulls. These are the first pulls that I'm taking from this. As you can see, it gives a lot of vapor. Great vapor. It tastes very nice. Like It feels like I haven't even... Uh, needed to break in the atomizer and it's already working great so I'm excited to see how it's going to be with the atomizer broken in. The draw on this is medium. It's not too it's not too light, it's not too stiff. It's it's just right. Uh, this is a very nice draw. I like it a lot. You could hear the atomizer crackling towards the end there. It doesn't seem to have that problem when it's new, uh, but <clears throat> either way, it's giving a nice amount of vapor. I'm not getting much of a throat hit from this right now. Uh, it, I know for a fact that it does give a very nice throat hit later on uh, after you've broken in the atomizer and it gives more vapor as well. I'll, uh, I'll show the vapor production in a follow-up video that I'll attach to this video. Uh, I'm gonna make a follow-up in about a week and then I'll, you know, I'll attach it to this, and you could guys, uh, you guys can, uh, you know, compare from a week from to in a week from today, you can compare everything and how how it's become. Wow, so that's actually giving a lot of vapor. Uh, I, I I I personally I love this. I love this. Uh, model e-cig. It's very nice. I've never had one with uh, that flat end before, but I can't complain. I don't... Yeah, this this end doesn't screw off. Only this end screw, screws off, the one with the gold band right there. If you could see that. Yeah, you can. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Overall, so far, I love it. I, I really... Ha I have absolutely no complaints about this at all. Uh, I know for a fact that the battery lasts a ridiculously long time. For me, it's lasted about 12 hours. Uh, but we'll see how, how long it lasts with this one from White Stag Vapor. So, I'll see you guys in a week. Have okay, fun. Okay, guys. So, it's been a week since I reviewed the Leo. Five days, just like the Leo, because I received them at the same time from WhiteStagVapor.com. Anyway, so I've been using this just about as much as I've been using the Leo, and I really like it. I mean, I've had a Leo, uh, I've had a Leo before, and I've loved it. But, uh, you know, this is the same thing. Obviously, I didn't review it, but this uh, PV is fantastic. I love it, love it, love it. And this design, I really like how uh, I really like how White Stag Vapor got the ones with the flat ends. Normal ones have uh, crystals on them. I'll uh, upload a picture into the video. Well, I'll try to at least to uh, show what the crystal looks like on other Leos. But yeah, this is an incredibly satisfying vape. I love it. It lasts a good 15 hours, fully charged battery, and it gives very steady vapor. It doesn't really go down on vapor production or, you know, quality of the vapor or anything throughout that 15 hours. So uh, let me just give a quick demonstration of uh, the vapor after a week. Yeah, I, I love that. Uh, it, right now it's giving just about the same amount of vapor as the Leo, but um, this I accidentally overfilled recently, so it hasn't uh, it hasn't burned through that excess liquid yet, and that's why it's giving slightly less. But it usually does give more, um, and the flavor is excellent always, unless it's you know out of liquid. And in that case, you just put in another, like, two, three drops, and you're good to go. Now, what I've noticed, the atomizer on this, uh, you can't really see that, but... Here, let me try to focus in on that. Okay, that atomizer, that bridge there, is thinner than the ones on the Leos that I've had before. I don't know why that is, but it does seem to actually be working better. Now, let's go back in on me. 
So, uh, you know, throat hit, excellent. Vapor production, excellent. I really don't see how anybody can go wrong with this. This is a little bit of a more advanced type of uh, PV, and, uh, but, you know, new new vapors can easily learn how to use it unless they feel like having a smaller uh, type e-cig like you know the joy 510 or something of that sort fantastic i love it i've have, I have cola flavored liquid in here right now and it's it's fantastic. This this just works so well with every liquid that I've tried so far. I've tried cola, root beer, cream soda, menthol, uh, you know, RY4 tobacco flavors. They, they all work great. And all I did is uh, I just put a piece of paper towel in this way. This is also if you want to clean it. You put a little piece of paper towel in there, in that atomizer. Uh, and and then all you do you just blow out this end while holding the piece of paper towel and all the excess liquid gets blown right out and uh, it's basically ready to be used with another liquid and it's it's practically seamless uh, the taste of the other liquid a slight aftertaste stays in there uh, for maybe two pulls but after that it's it's perfect Lots of vapor. I love it. It's it's basically burned through that excess liquid now. But yeah, so I highly recommend this. I highly recommend the Leo. I love it very, very much. And I, I really can't see any faults with this at all. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Have fun and happy vaping as always.